Hey guys, how's it going? So, getting ready to watch the Sharks game against the Titans. Um, should be a good game. Um, Titans have been looking alright all from what I've seen, seen in like their results. Um, we looked alright last week. Um, beating Manly. Again, like, did not see that result coming, that big of a, big of a win. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Um, if we can play like we did against Manly, take away maybe that, like, 10-minute spell at the end of the game where we let Manly back in, um, we should win. But what, if we, whether we do that or not, I don't know. As I said in last week, I'm pretty sure I said it in the last week's video, we need to be more consistent with those spells throughout the course of 80 minutes. Um, if we do that, we should win. And I don't want to say win well, but you saw last week what happened. Um, hopefully we can keep that going. Um, get another win on the board and... Keep put and keep in touch and keep pushing for that top eight spot. Um, it's definitely um, not well, as you would have seen. I've been putting up videos talking about the AFL, about St. K my boy St Kilda having a sh playing obviously in a shortened season. There, every win, every win there is vital, and I feel it's the same in the NRL now with Sharks. Like now that we're getting close to nearly. Nearly halfway through, halfway through the season, it's we're definitely every win from now on is crucial to where we finish this season. So, just seeing that we're going through the same team again, ULA coming on for Feeder off the bench, which I think is great. Um, for Feeder's definitely close to the end of the career, his career than the start, and I think the way that. The, for him to continue having as big an impact now in this this stage of his career that as he has previously, I think him coming off the bench is a great move. Um, keeps him dominant coming in against a tiring pack. Um, I definitely think I'm not overly confident in this game, like because we have seen this year that we are playing like we're used to. Where the games were meant to win, we lose. The games were meant to lose, we win. So, um, obviously, you got, everyone's thinking that we'll win this game. So, again, I'm probably that's probably changed the need to think we're going to lose. But who knows? If we, again, if we play like we did last week for the full eighty, we should win. But I don't know. Um, when I come back to you, it'll be in a couple of hours for me. Not too long for you, like always. But I'll come back to you at full time. Hopefully we've picked up another win and we've got two points on the board and we're pushing more pushing forward again to the top eight. What a game. What a good result. Uh definitely didn't see that result happening, same as last week. Um as I said, I thought we would lose because we we're meant to win, but if we were gonna win, it was only gonna be tight. But um putting a performance like that. Looks like Sean Johnson's just gone off, gone crazy this year. Hopefully I don't jinx him, knock on wood. But I think you look at it, last year he didn't really have a full pre-season with the team, whereas this year he has. Um, definitely look sol looked solid in that game. Um, Throwing on the trot, two, last week, this week, two big wins. Hopefully builds the confidence in the team going forward. Um... Hope, hopefully, fingers crossed, Matt Moylan isn't too bad. Hopefully, it's just a bit of tightness, but we'll wait and see. Um, Fafita looked look amazing. Um, Chad actually probably played one of his best games recently. I think he sort of sat back and let, when Moylan was on there, let Moylan and Johnson just run the game. And then when Moylan went off, he still let Johnson just run the game, like just play it as he saw it, which I think is the best thing for Johnson to do. Uh, you give Johnson structure, he just seems to struggle a little bit. Um, hopefully we can keep performing like that. If we can keep 
playing that was an I, I dare say that we were playing at a deep, pretty elite level when we we're on. Um, had a couple little fade out moments, um, silly stupid mistakes. We cut those out. Um, we're, and we're we're on like when we're on we're on. That's the thing. Like, but when we're off we're atrocious. So. Hopefully we can minimise those spells where we turn off a little bit, get rid of those stupid little errors out of the game. Um, and we look good. Um, again, hopefully Moylan isn't too seriously hurt. Uh, he definitely adds a, another... another, another uh, I'm trying to think of the right word. He definitely adds something different to our game. Um, we definitely look... A more formidable team with Moylan Johnson doing all the fancy work and Chad just literally directing the team to set them up and open up the field for him. Um, so hopefully we can keep performing like that. And we'll, don't want to say we'll be laughing, but we can definitely give, give this comp a red hot crack, real shake up. Um, this will be the end of the video. If you enjoyed what you've seen, like the video, thumbs up. Let me know down below in the comments where you see us going from here. Um, what was your opinion on Chad's game today? As I said, I think it's probably one of the best games he's played recently. Um, Johnson, again, another level this year. Hopefully, you can keep it going. Um, if we keep playing like this, if we can cut out the mistakes and the little fade-outs, where do you see us going this year? What do you think is going to happen? Share the video with your friend. As I say, said, like the video if you enjoyed it. Go back, check out some of the other stuff. Um, share the video with your mates. But again, like, like I say all the time, most importantly, importantly, keep living a great life. Peace.